Everybody loves Bigfoot. We love Bigfoot in movies, commercials. It's become a important cultural icon. I'm 90% convinced that Bigfoot exists based on 45 years of research. I've been studying this for going on 14 years. I've been investigating for decades and I've been publishing my newsletter for almost a quarter of a century. I've read 106 Bigfoot books, probably got 500 to go. My first experience with it was seeing a, a photographic still from the Patterson Gimlin film. When she's walking across a sandbar and spreads her arms out and looks at the camera. It made me completely sold. The only really convincing film footage we have. That's the type of evidence that makes the case for Bigfoot compelling. I was working on a cabin in the woods and hammering at night and stuff and the geese were going crazy so I got my spotlight out and two of them jumped up from the farm pond, one with a goose in his hand. I'm up to about 145 incidents now. Me and uh, the little woman was out in the woods one day and uh, we found a footprint. There have been hundreds of casts made of footprint impressions that are very consistent. Things that look like Bigfoot actually did exist in the fossil record. Native American legends all over the continent to talk about a big, hairy, wild man. If the Indians saw it, uh, people in different countries or different, you know, all over the world seeing the same thing, and that's when I started to believe. What do you say, Phil, to the naysayers or those that aren't, that, that, that would say you're crazy for believing in Bigfoot? What would I'd you say? say read a book. Dang it, pick a book. I'm 100% convinced that they're out there. I've never seen one with my own eyes. The only reason we haven't found it is because it's adapted specific avoidance behaviors to avoid being found by us. We should continue on uh, in spite of the fact that we have no proof that Bigfoot is real.